Good morning. Michael Coletto in here. Uh, this session is going to be all about the teeny trailer. The beautiful bright yellow and aqua colored uh, trailers of the 40s through 50s that morphed into a, a fairly standard trailer but beyond that. But the early trailers were characterized by their huge fenders. Here is the uh, teeny trailer that we've just disassembled in preparation for its restoration. When we finish it, the trailer will be painted in Ford chrome I'm yellow. I'll show you in the next few minutes is an easy way both to install but much more important because I'm sure everybody who's ever tried it has skinned a knuckle and said a few things that uh, should not be said in polite company uh, in, in a sometimes vain effort to uh, remove the pins which and without removing them there's no way you can ever fix a roller that's in the condition of this one. This one's pretty good but I'm sure your experience has been the same as ours. The pins get rusty because they're made of mild steel. They increase the coefficient of friction between the pin and the roller and that just like this one now they become very difficult. I would say at least half the teeny trailers that we restore uh, we discover that the rollers have gone flat on one side as the boat's keel has just been dragged along a roller that has no longer uh, any capacity of turning. So we're going to solve in the next few minutes your pin problem, your installation problem, your extraction problem, and also starting in about 1960, at least on some of its trailers, teeny slid a black rubber sleeve over the admittedly somewhat slippery uh, plastic rollers that were beneath them. Uh, I've been searching around for a solution, talked to several of the guys I talked to about teeny trailers and came up with the simplest fix of all, simply repurposing one inch ID radiator hose. It is exactly the right outside diameter, it is exactly the right inside diameter, and the plastic rollers fit snugly inside just the way you want them to be. And then you've got, number one, a larger diameter and therefore more leverage as the boat goes past the roller, a higher coefficient of friction because radiator hose is very rough on the outside exactly as was the case with the original uh, roller. Here's an example of an original one that has not failed. Radiator hose is tough stuff. I dare say there'll be decades and decades of use before any piece of this radiator hose shows the slightest wear. So just go down to your auto parts store, ask for a length of one inch radiator hose, cut it to the length of your rollers, Slide it in place, polish off the ends of the rubber just a little bit so that you don't have anything sticking out looking ugly, and you've solved that problem. Now let's see first how we insert the pin and roller, and then more importantly, how do we get it out afterwards?